Recently, there's been a whole bunch of articles that say 90% of people don't know about Control F. Well, what is that? That is a text search, and I will show you how it works and why you should use it all the time. Well, maybe not all the time, but a lot, because believe me, you'll find a lot of good use out of this, specifically when you're using something like a search engine, and you'll understand what I mean by that in a moment. Uh, let's start actually with Internet Explorer 9. If we do a Control F, and I'm going to search for the word Firefox, Control F brings up a bar on the top here, and you just start typing. So I'll type Firefox. It says it's found six matches, okay, and it highlighted one right here. So I can go previous and next, so I'll go to the next one, and there's the next one in blue. And any others that are on the screen will be in yellow. So when I hit next, it's going to jump to this one and then to this one. So next, next previous previous next next you get the idea you can also do matching the whole world whole word only or matching the case that's how to do it in Internet Explorer 9 in Firefox uh, what version am I running I don't even know 7 although this would work the same in Firefox 7 all the way back to Firefox 2 <laughs> I believe so it's all the same here control F again but it puts the bar on the bottom and I'll search for Firefox here. Highlights it in uh, green or blue. Now, sometimes highlight all may be off. I would suggest having that button depressed just because when you're scrolling down, you'll see the other ones in uh, Fuchsia. But anyway, same deal, next and previous, next, there's the next one. Highlights the current one in green, next, next, previous, previous. That's how that works. In the Chrome browser, you actually get a little more. It's the same thing with Control F, but it puts it on the right side, which I don't necessarily agree with. It should be on the left. I don't like having to type stuff on. It's just a thing with me. I, I'm not really uh, akin to typing stuff on the right from within the browser because the address bar is on the left and you do your buttons on the left and all. Anyway, so I'll type Firefox here. Now, what I want you to pay attention to when I do this is watch the scroll bar area over on this side. Firefox. Okay, not only do we have the highlight, we have one of six, so it says six matches. You can scroll through them with these up and down arrows, but there are also little yellow lines. That is where in the page you can uh, get to them. So if I scroll down to that line, oh, there it is. If I scroll down to this line, there it is again and again. So that's how that works. Or you can just, as I said a moment ago, go through them like this. It highlights them, at least in my browser, in orange and will always highlight the other ones. So that's how that works. So you get the most usability with a control F in the Chromium browser, at least I believe so, if you can deal with having it on the right side. Now, if you want to get rid of this, you can either hit the X or just hit escape. And that is true with the other two. So if I do this, hit escape, gone. Go to this one, hit escape. Now, if you hit escape and it doesn't go away, just hit control F, escape, and then it will go away. And that is the way that works. Now, I said a moment ago, as far as a search goes, it is helpful. So if I search for, say, PC Mac Firefox, hit enter, and it does the thing. There's a whole lot of text on here, right? So if I search for just PC Mac, for example, oh, let's, let's find a word down here I'd ordinarily have to scroll and look for. Okay, so here's the word router. Now let's just say f for the moment I did not know where that word was in this page. Control F, R-O-U-T-E-R. -E okay, there's the first one. Uh, how many did it find? Three. Okay, so there's there's the second one, and there's the third one right here. So that's where I want it to go. So in search results, very handy to know. If you're reading a long document, very handy to know. Uh, is there similar search functionality in the Adobe Reader? Yes, but I don't know if it's accessed through Control F, but in the browser it is. So again, no Control F. Use it. It's awesome. It's been around forever. Don't be one of those 90% of people that don't know it. Use it.